So today in this two-part series, we're going to learn how to make a house and then add some texture and outside decoration. To start with our simple house, we're going to click on Add, Mesh, and then Cube. And we're going to use our green, red, and blue arrows to move it over to the proper center of stage on the X, Y, and Z axis. And you can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Um, holding in shift will let you move up and down, and if you hold in control, it lets you move left and right. And we go ahead and zoom in on our square. And we're going to set our magnetic center of stage, which is that circle with the white and red on it. And that pretty much controls where our next object will appear. And once we have it centered, we're going to go click Add, Mesh, and Cube again. And we're going to drop a cube right on top of our other one, and this is going to be our roof. And we're going to make sure this cube is exactly on top of the other cube. If you hit Z, you'll notice that the wireframe mode turns on, and this will help you really uh, you know, find exact center of the one cube over top of the other. And then you click S, and we're just going to scale it out a little bit. And then we're going to go into edit mode. You can do this by clicking tab or just selecting the box at the bottom of the screen. And we're going to make sure our selection tool is for lines and using your left click and holding in shift to make sure you select multiple lines we're going to select those two lines and then we're going to hit S and then Y and that will let us move them on the Y axis and as you can see this brings in the two sides to make sort of a rooftop point move it up a little bit on the Z axis and now we have a very simple shape of a house and a roof so next we're going to take the house while it's still in edit mode. And we're going to subdivide the house. And this way we can get resets for something like a door or a window. And we're going to hold and shift and just select all of these lines. So we get the entire wall and push it over on the Y axis. And then we're going to do the same with the other side of lines holding and shift, selecting all of them, and then pushing it over on the y-axis. Now we still already have a door area, and we're going to click panel select, and we're just going to go up and select all those. Now here's a trick to pop out a surface. Hold and control and click the left click button, and you want to make sure it's center, and that'll let you pull um, a new surface straight out of your old one. And we're going to reset it a little bit back, and this will make our door. And if you go over to the four-pointed upside-down triangle, that's your um, group selection tool. And here we can assign um, a new group. We'll call this front door. And now we can select and deselect that group without having to go through and click all those surfaces again. Um, doing this really helps with larger projects. And we're going to go over and we're going to do the same thing into a window. Um, once again, holding and controlling that left click, making sure it's on center, we pull out our window form and push it back. And now we're going to assign um, a grouping to it, and this will be the front window. And now that we have the door and the window set up, we're going to add some material and texture. So go over to your little material circle in the upper right corner. And we'll have our basic house paint and I'm going to make it sort of a sandy brownish color. You can make it whatever color you feel like. And we're going to take down the specular color. What that does is it makes it so it's less reflective, uh, more like a house paint should be, not very shiny. And now we're just going to make our roof material. And we're going to make a, a red colored roof, reddish orange. Now that we have material assigned to both our roof and our building, let's uh, let's actually change the door and the window colors so they stand out. So we're going to go over and group select our points that we had for the door. And we're going to come back and we're going to add a new material and we're going to set this one as our door and if you click assign with those uh, areas selected it will actually assign it to that specific color and remember this can only be done in edit mode further uh, editing the, the details of an object and we're going to do the same thing to our window so we're going to go back over to our 
uh, group selection tool and find our window. And now we're going to make our window material. And a dark shade of blue, bluish green is usually best to use for windows. And we're going to go to mirror and turn on reflectivity and boost it up to about a 0.3. Um, you can go higher or lower, um, just depends on how you want your, your window to look when it's all done. And for the most part, you won't really see too much reflecting in it since we're pretty much going to make just a house. Okay, now that we have a door and a window, let's move our camera over and we're going to try to render this out and see what it looks like. Hit F12. And there you have it. If you'd like to learn more techniques and elaborate upon this design, check out the second video.